this is it, it's down to me <laughs> to do it. But, you know, this is like, um, uh, you know, it's supposed to be in a, in a, in a, in a childlike spirit, this whole thing. You know, it's, it's, it's about um, Tonemarsh. Oh, my, not on my back exactly, but my shoulder a little bit on all the bourgeois notions of what um, a painter should be, you know. This is a painting still, it's an image, it's an icon, it's, um, and, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's as meaningful, if not more so, than anything I've ever committed to oil paint and canvas. I mean, I think I did comment uh, on the previous shoot that, uh, um, you know, about uh, the development of the idea, you know, the blowtorch painting. Um, and I started doing these things with a, a little bit of pastel. And um, the pigment itself, obviously, is a lot of the time is oxides and and of, of metals and so on, and um, of course, in their uh, chemical state, they don't really like much in the way of extra oxidisation. You know, a bit of burning doesn't really kind of agree with some of the pigments. Blues tend to hold their colour, and reds tend to uh, get obliterated. It's kind of peculiar, really. But the red and blue theme is, um, I think, is key, really. You know, the, 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 the red is like blood, it's like the quagmire, you know? And, uh, and blue is like the heavens, you know? It's, uh, you know, it's, it's a basic, um, you know, chromatic, symbolic kind of motif, if you like. <laughs> you know, I want of a better way of putting it. But, you know, it's... Um, People respond to it, the blue and the red, you know. So this is a cigarette for the year that she almost made it to her 28th birthday, but not quite.